everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a pick a message reading here today. So for all signs, and it is timeless, general as always, guys, it will not resonate with every single person. So please do take from these messages whatever makes sense for you and let the rest go. So we've got a stack of cards, A, B, and C. Choose from whichever message you're most guided towards. And let's take a look and see what comes through here today. So the very first message for letter A, I wish we could be together right now. For B, I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you. And C, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. Okay, so I'll go ahead and timestamp these down below and feel free to either listen to the whole reading or whichever letter you have selected here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and set B and C aside and let's get started with A if that's the one that you've chosen. Okay, so the main message, I wish we could be together right now. From the messages that came through, we do have spiritual connection, time, weight, cycles, infinity. This is definitely coming through as a very deep love between two people coming through as soulmates. There is this unity between the two of you, but right now you're at a distance from one another, barriers, separation, and space. There is the opportunity, however, for beginnings, a new direction, a fresh start, and a second chance. We also ended up getting commitment and yes. So if there was an issue in regard to commitment before, if this particular storyline is resonating with you, perhaps you guys went into separation as a result of a person unable to commit, but with the opportunity to start over and have a new beginning here, there's a really good chance that in time you guys can come back together and finally be able to commit towards one another. Okay, we do have the five of wands coming through here. So we've got fire energy coming through with Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The Five of Wands is all about disagreements, so you guys could have certainly had your fair share of arguments here, not being able to see eye to eye, especially if one person just wanted to play the field or just be casually dating and the other person wanted a more committed relationship. But we do have the Ace of Swords coming in also, which is Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This is a breakthrough here when it comes to this connection. This is victorious energy, as well as giving you both the clarity that's needed in order to proceed and move forward in this spiritual connection, this soulmate bond between the two of you. We also ended up getting the Six of Wands coming through here, which is more fire energy. This is more success, more victory. So we have two cards right next to each other with very victorious energy here. Okay, so if you're resonating with this, and you are wanting a new beginning with your person, it's certainly possible here, and that ultimately they're now ready to commit towards this partnership. We have a message here from the masculine to the feminine. You are my soulmate, no one else could ever compare. And from the feminine to the masculine, you are my destiny, I am yours. From the Romance Angels, we do have the soulmate card coming through here. Yes, this is your soulmate. We also have the reconciliation card coming forward. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And lastly, this could have certainly been a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So if when you guys had first met, if there was that sense of familiarity, like you guys have known each other before, more than likely that's because you have. You have connected in a past life. But what I'm feeling here is that there is a new beginning that's possible in this partnership. And I really do feel, you know, with the very first message, I wish we could be together right now. So your person is clearly thinking about you, wanting to bring this back together. They're focused on reconnecting and just the messages coming through here. You are my soulmate. And we already have that reflected here through the spiritual connection. This is a deep love between two people. The overall energy, look at this. We have another reconciliation card coming through here. This is coming together with someone and working on whatever has torn you apart. This could be a past connection. 
this person is praying for a new beginning with you. Be willing to give this relationship or connection a second chance. You may be receiving an apology or a compromise. You know, and so maybe your person has finally figured out with the time that you guys have spent away from each other that they're ready to commit, that ultimately they feel like something's missing in their life without you, okay? And then this was the very last card. Look at that. I wish. Fresh start. The number 13 could also play a significant role for some of you. But yeah, this is ultimately what they are wanting, what they're wishing for is to have you back in their life to reconnect with you, to have this reconciliation. I mean, the cards that came through here are unbelievable with the new beginning from the Ace of Swords. Two cards, again, right next to each other, being very victorious. You guys have had a bit of a rough patch with the arguments and disagreements, which is why you guys were at a distance due to this barrier and separation and needing space from one another. But again, two reconciliation cards coming through and references to a soulmate connection here. It looks pretty promising that ultimately you guys can reconnect and your person is now ready to commit long term. Okay, so beautiful messages coming through for the first batch for letter A. So if that's what you chose, I hope it resonated with you. If not, no big deal. Let's take a look at letter B and see if that resonates with you. All right, so let's move on. So the second stack of cards is B message. I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you. Okay, so we have confessions, unexpected message, unveiling justification. Your person might be getting ready to reach out to you, especially if they've been holding back and wanting to really express something to you, whatever these confessions are all about. There's something that they need to get off their chest. We also have clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching. They might actually be checking you out on social media. You could be doing the same thing. You know, I mean, just the verbiage here. I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you. So if they're checking you out on social media, just your photo alone could really make them feel this way. We also have infatuation coming through. Adoration, there's that word again, addiction and compulsion. This person, I feel, if you're resonating with this, they are really obsessed with you. They can't stop thinking about you. You're all they ever think about. You are every second of their day. You occupy every second of their day in their thoughts, in their heart. You're everything to this person. And look at this. We have chemistry, spark, passion, and desire. I mean, no doubt about it. They definitely desire you and maybe you feel the same you know there's this particular spark between the two of you that's undeniable and if you guys have been intimate and have that physical connection it's also coming through that it's very passionate the chemistry in and out of the bedroom is there and then we ended up getting another chemistry card okay so no doubt about it that's coming through here which could ultimately be why they can't stop thinking about you because of this intense chemistry. They're just so completely drawn to you. And another obsession card coming through, okay? So there's a reason why they can't let you go. I mean, they want to just hold on to you like glue. And they can't stop focusing on you, thinking about you. I mean, it truly, they're addicted to you, okay? So tarot, we've got the lover's card coming through here. This is Gemini energy that's coming forward. A very deep spiritual union between two people. The attraction definitely here. You know, it's all about temptations, attraction, love, sexuality, that strong sexual union between two people, which is certainly reflected here. We also have the Four of Wands. This is my Twin Flame card coming through here. So Wands is Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this could ultimately be a twin flame connection, a mirror soul, somebody who represents the other half of your soul, a very special bond that the two of you share. I mean, clearly there is a reason why they feel so magnetically drawn to you. This is a very happy life right here. Harmonious. It could even result in marriage. 
long-term future with this person. And for my feminines, you're coming through as the Queen of Cups. So we've got water energy coming through here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The lesson that the Queen of Cups teaches us is that you got to be somebody who makes everyone feel important, you know, to look into their eyes and ultimately make them feel understood. And I really feel when you guys connect, you just get each other and you certainly make them feel that way. You just make them feel so special and loved and wanted. I couldn't believe it when this came through. Third card talking about chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here that we already know. It is falling right below chemistry, spark, passion, and desire. The romantic feelings here between the two of you, it's certainly here. So it's not just all about sex, you know what I mean? It's a well-rounded relationship and connection. I mean, the thing is though, they're super attracted to you sexually. That's the thing with this person and they are truly obsessed and addicted with the thought of you. But the romantic feelings, quite real and worth exploring when it comes to this connection. We already know, whoops, we already know about the passionate connection. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so we ended up getting a message from the masculine to the feminine. I only think of you on two occasions, day and night. Okay, I mean, that's pretty obsessive right there. From the feminine to the masculine, you are my favorite obsession. <laughs> okay, so lastly, we have soul to soul connection also coming through here. You are manifesting a soul to soul relationship. You are connecting to the soul of another. This could be the balancing of your masculine and feminine energy. You are connecting at a deeper level. You know, clearly this is a very special connection here. And again, with the four of wands represented here, this is a twin flame connection for some of you. Okay, and lastly, we have desire number 19. I can still taste you. So again, lots of sexual energy coming through here. The chemistry, undeniable, the passion. They're really drawn to you. I mean, again, with the lover's card represented here, it's very passionate a very deep spiritual union between two people. You're just drawn to one another. But the thing is too, there's a reason why this lover's card is here because there's a need to make a decision when it comes to this relationship. So, you know, it's one thing to be checking somebody out on social media if you guys are not officially together, knowing that there's the chemistry here, knowing that there's a lot of passion between the two of you, that it, this is ultimately representing a twin flame connection but perhaps there's a decision that is needing to be made here to officially bring you guys together the way you're wanting. Okay, whatever that decision is, but it does look to me like it's a very special bond that you share with this person. All right, guys, so that's what's coming through for B. Hopefully that resonated with you. So let's move on to C. And let's take a look and see <laughs> what's coming through from that set of cards. All right, guys. So the last one, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. Okay. So if you selected C, these are the messages. All right. So we have tension, turbulence, arguments, stress. So there's a reason why this is starting off this way. Please don't doubt my love for you. Perhaps that's exactly what's happening is that they are doubting your love or you're doubting theirs. This is a very stressful situation. You guys might be or have been arguing a lot or that's what's going on right now. Part of the reason could have something to do with this, which is concealing secrets, mysteries and hiding. So there's this deceptive energy that's coming forward here. Perhaps you have discovered that they've been lying to you, that they have been dishonest, and that's where the arguments and the stress is coming from. We also have letting go here, releasing, walking away, moving on. So what I'm feeling here, for those that are resonating with this batch of cards, you walked away from this person, 
you detached yourself from this relationship because they were keeping secrets from you that could certainly have something to do with infidelity and cheating and third party situations and so you decided to move on to release yourself from this individual but they still love you and perhaps you still love them what they're ultimately wanting from you here is a second chance. They want to be able to make amends here. A new opportunity at love and romance with you, if you're open to that, of course. Okay, we already know that lies have been a part of the equation. But they are coming through with an apology. Some of you guys could have been married to this person. We do have a what looks to me like a wedding band right there. Or it could be a promise ring. They are coming through with an apology here. You know, of course, for you, the viewer, you don't have to accept that apology, but it is being represented here. So let's take a look at some tarot here. We've got the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful card. Cups is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So some of you guys could have been married to this person where you, you already had this Ten of Cups, but... You know, obviously something happened here to break you guys up, which more than likely has something to do with infidelity because of these lies and mysteries, hiding and secrets, causing a lot of arguments here. Because this is on its own a very beautiful energy. It's fulfillment. It's a dream come true. It's happiness. It's things that fall into place in a relationship. And then you've got the Ace of Cups, another great card. So water energy definitely reflected here. The Ace of Cups is, on the one hand, the need to be able to love yourself, the need to be able to fulfill your own cup of love, especially if you're dealing with somebody that could not do it for you. And possibly for those of you who had to walk away and let go, this is what you can ultimately find by letting go, is finding the love that you deserve through another connection. That's possible. But this is also indicative of a deep connection between two people and that love still has the capability of getting better, but it can also represent new love for some of you. Okay, and then you have the energy of the sun, which is amazing. So what I'm feeling here for those of you who have walked away and want to stay away, you will be happy moving forward. You'll be successful. You will find joy in your life again. If you're not wanting to reconcile with this person because of what happened, you can certainly find happiness on your own because this is the most positive card in tarot. So you have ensured that your future looks pretty good, whether you ever come back together with this person or not, or if you end up finding new love elsewhere. But for those of you who do want to work on this partnership with this person, there's a chance for a union here. And there's also a chance for marriage. If for those of you that don't resonate with having been married to this person, then there certainly is the opportunity for future happiness by way of marriage. So maybe you guys had to go through something really painful in order to have a better understanding of what it is that you're both wanting here. And the interesting thing thing about the sun too is that whoever was lying I mean the truth comes out it always does and the sun offers that truth illumination if these lies were in the dark which more than likely it is because it was being hidden the sun illuminates the truth so from the romance angels we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance now, for some of you, that means finding new love. For others, it means being able to work through the challenges of this relationship. And that is the next card. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if you want to work on the partnership, your person has to want to work on it with you. You can't do this all on your own. But I do feel, since we do have the second chance card here, making amends, they will be doing that. I mean, we already know that there was deception 
here. They were wearing a false self mask in the relationship, which is what this concealing energy is all about. Secrets, mysteries, hiding, and then we have lies. Okay, now from the masculine to the feminine, let's start over from the feminine to the masculine. Deception, lies, secrets. It hurts. So my feminine definitely acknowledging and knowing that whatever this deception was, it broke her heart. Overall energy for this relationship, much needed. Forgiveness. Your heart needs to be in the communication of forgiveness. Fully forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness will allow you to move forward and heal. It will create more space for love in your life. So if you are open to forgiveness, certainly there's a chance to work on this partnership. You've got three amazing tarot cards coming through here, especially with the sun being the most positive. There's a chance to work this out if that's what you're wanting. But if not, you can move forward and find happiness elsewhere. Or just be single and be happy that way walking away, moving on, finding a life for yourself, finding happiness in yourself. Okay, so it really depends on what it is that you're wanting here. And the last message, I promise I'll never let go infinite. Okay, so for those of you who did let go, but are willing to entertain a second chance, this is your person coming through to let you know that if you are going to give them the opportunity to come back this time around, they're going to hold on for dear life. They're not going to let you go because they want infinity with you. Okay, guys. So that's what came through this time around. Some messages, just a very short reading to be able to offer you guys this pick a message reading here so hopefully a b or c was able to resonate with you if not no big deal i've got more readings coming up for you guys and if you're interested in your own personal private reading all of that information is down below in the description box and i'll see you guys real soon take care bye, -bye.